Talk about why the change in curriculum in the first place. Hi, Jane. A North Carolina commission studied the school curriculum, which is about a decade old, and recommended that it needed an update. So every subject is getting a review and a new set of learning standards. And one of the proposals suggests that for social studies, ninth graders take a course called Global Studies, which focuses on modern issues, and 11th graders would take U.S. history, but only starting from 1877 to the present. Take a listen. We are certainly not trying to go away from American history. What we're trying to do is figure out a way to teach it, where students are connected to it, where they see the big idea, where they're able to make connections and draw relationships between parts of our history and, and the current and the present day. This is a proposal in the very early stages. Nothing's been adopted yet. Jane? Uh, Molly, when would North Carolina students then learn about the founding of our country under this proposal? Well, history before 1877, the proposal says, would come in elementary and middle school after 1877 in 11th grade. Uh, what, what about teachers? How are they feeling about it? Well, some say there may be, hey, there may be problems in the social studies curriculum, but this is not the way to fix it. Listen to this. If the State Board of Education adopts these proposals, then everything from George Washington's presidency to the fight against slavery to uh, the Civil War and Reconstruction will be removed from the required curriculum in our high schools. And instead, what we'll be requiring our students to learn as ninth graders is we'll be requiring them to learn about global warming and third world debt relief. He says that's not the way to go. Jane? Molly Hanneberg in D.C. for us. Thanks, Molly. Fresh snow in...